Viva! 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 Viva!
Tunasimama na KFS tukisema kwamba tutasaidia KFS kuligana na PFMP na FMA kuliibia huu msitu na kukataa kunyakuliwa kwa msitu. Um, the way forward is that we are petitioning Kenya Forest Service and the Minister of Environment that we do not want any more developments in Ololua Forest. Tayari tumetosheka na IPR Nuclear Regulatory Authority pia wako huku and we have three or four other organizations ambaye wame set up in Ololua Forest. So out of the initial acreage of land, tumebakishua only 50% of the forest of which a child international welfare are grabbing 67 acres which is almost 10% of the remaining forest land in Ololua. So here to make a turn and we are calling on government officials to stand with us because we suspect anyone who can put up a fence in Ololua Forest, that must be someone who is high in the government. Kama tunataka kupada miti na hiyari kuna wegina wanakuja wanakata, istasha wananyakua the ground yenye serekari nasema tupada miti huko, ninaona ni kana kwaba wanataka kwa gamiza serekari. Ninaona kama they just want to crucify the government, they just want to crucify everything that the government is saying. Ya kwaba wao diyo wanareta the government down. Ni geoba serekari, especially the president of Kenya mwenye ritua yu amli, akijua wenye wamenyakua hii lad. Kama wako kwa any government office they insist not to be in that of because they are not fit to the instructions zenye ya napeana. Lost morals completely as a country to the extent that we are now losing forest cover. Less than one year ago and to be very specific this year and I remember there was a national day to plant trees. Why are you using a lot of resources to plant trees and you are busy destroying forest cover which is already in existence? This forest has taken thousands of years. Now I some organization calling itself, uh, which I know it is nothing about children's uh, welfare. It is just about appetite for land from the leadership of this country. There are individuals in government who want to take this land. They want to grab this land. But I want to say this. We will not allow this. And I want a matching parliament to, 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 to work on this because they oversight every other organization. From today onwards, I'll make a petition. Together with the many Kenyans who did a demonstration today, there, this place where I'm standing, there was a busy demonstration this day of the many lovers of environment, of the many organizations, in both international and local organizations, who believe we should conserve our environment. Look at these. These are building materials. They are fencing 66 acres of land. Land full of indigenous trees. Trees which have grown for over 40 years, over 50 years, over 60 years. This forest cover was gazetted in 1940. It's now over 80 years. About 84 years ago, when it was gazetted as a forest. Some trees were there when it was gazetted. And they still exist. If you go around, the very many indigenous trees which are extinct in most forests. I doubt whether there is a forest which beats Ololua Forest. Ololua Forest is one of the best conserved forests in Kenya. How can you build a... There are so many available land to build schools. You cannot purport to say you want to build a school in a forest, in the middle of a forest. We are trying to, to create more forest cover. We are trying to plant trees. How can you use money to plant trees then you did destroy others? Go to those empty plots you are purporting to be planting trees and build schools there because there are no trees. Where there is a tree, leave it. And you know, Kenya is a beautiful nation. It's a beautiful country. We depend on 40% of agriculture. And this agriculture is rain-fed. And it is out of this forest cover that we get the rain. When we lose the cover, we lose the rain.